Variety Immigration Law is a great resource for the latest in immigration news and trends. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. It really helps out the channel. And click that notification bell so you never miss a video from Berardi Immigration Law. Hi, my name is Zach Alstrom, and I'm an attorney at Berardi Immigration Law. Today we're going to talk about the TN category, specifically the TN category for computer systems analysts. So for context, the TN is a temporary work permit for citizens of Canada and Mexico. Under the regulations, there are 63 professional occupations that qualify, one being a computer systems analyst. Now, when we're drafting an application, there's a couple of things we're looking for. One, the job description has to line up with what the government thinks a computer systems analyst does. This is someone that's going in, they're reviewing an organization's systems, their computer systems, they're recommending improvements, and they may be assisting with the upgrades to existing systems or the installation of new systems. One thing that the government does not approve of is coding. Anytime you're doing it coding, you're not going to qualify as a computer systems analyst. This is just something the government does not permit under this TN category. Now, the second thing that an officer is going to look for is the applicant's qualifications. In order to qualify for TN status as a computer systems analyst, the applicant has to have a bachelor's degree. And this bachelor's degree has to be related to the field. So ideally, the applicant's gonna have something like a bachelor's in computer science or a bachelor's in software engineering or computer engineering. So if you're interested in applying for TN status as a computer systems analyst, please give, please give our office a call so that we can explain the process and the requirements in more detail. Or just reach out if you have any questions. We're always happy to help. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that notification button so you never miss one of these important updates. Also, check out the Berardi blog that's on our website at berardiimmigrationlaw.com. The blog is updated two to three times a week, contains tons of up-to-date information on policies and trends. You won't want to miss it.